2005 Monaro. Um, we built this, I actually bought the frame from somebody, um, changed it all up. The panels are already and moulds are already made at that stage, so but pretty well everything else from engine, gearbox, diff, actually changed the diff from what it started with. Um, so it's just been a, a bit of an evolution over a number of years to get to uh, what we've got here. I've got a sequential Hollinger in it now, which was an improvement on the H pattern. Um, this engine's just been rebuilt, but I've had the basics of it for a number of years. I've got another spare engine, which I bought off somebody else, just as, uh, as a spare in case. Um, so yeah, the, um, it's... it's uh, been a long process really and it just seems to go year after year you seem to be doing more and more you seem to keep trying to rebuild you go from 16s to 17s to 18 inch wheels you, you just keep 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 building keep changing so um, it's getting faster but it's just not having a lot of reliability at the moment I just um, broke a, a, an input shaft a clutch input shaft last round um, sorting that a bit this, this round and then we've got weather here so not getting sessions. I did one lap on Friday, and you know it's just just a bit frustrating on um, consistency at the moment. But that's the name of the game. Everyone else is in the same boat. And so, engine-wise, this obviously hasn't got what the Monaro came out with. A lot of people sort of think these cars just have the standard motors. What what sort of motor is in it? So mine is a uh, uh, the old Chev 350, which is. Um, not the same as a lot of the other guys are running the, the SB2s. Um, so mine is an 18 degree uh, standard Chev block. Um, so Neil Burns does all my engines and has done so for a long time and just builds a very good, strong, reliable engine. It's not high revving, it's not perhaps like the NASCARs or that way. Um, so I do get good uh, reliability out of that and it does seem to go. I get a good season out of most of them. We had a few issues years ago sorting out what sort of configurations in yeah, that work. Um, I remember breaking a crank in, in one um, one year uh, early in the year so but generally it's it's a very strong good solid good horsepower good torque try and get good torque out of them um, more than horsepower um, so yeah, it seems to seems to go good. I'm happy with that side of it. The car's very heavy. It's 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 actually quite high. It doesn't have a low centre of gravity, um, and it's, it's more a car than a some of the other you know it's, it's sports sedans are more built, purpose built with lower frames. Um, I've probably got the wrong size car really to be to be great. So. Um, I'm always trying to get a bit of, a bit of weight out of it and get 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 it down a bit. I'd probably be 100 k's and over. What does it weigh now? Um, with me and fuel and everything in it, it's about 1270, and we've got 1125 minimum. Yeah. So you'd like to be, I'd like to be under 12 if I could, but that takes a lot. Uh, you know, everything's fiberglass, but if, if it was carbon fibre, there'd be a bit in that. I've just had normally make a, another mould of the front sport, I'm going to try and get about five or six kilos out of that again and just just keep working on piece by piece reducing to get to get weight out. Awesome, well um, good luck with the class, good luck with the car and um, hopefully it stays dry for you today. No worries, thanks Ray. I hope it's dry too. <laughs>